Oh. Hurry! No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I've already made the um, curry sauce. Leave the ingredients now. You'll soon be here. You see, I'm sure he's here. I'll Hold on! I'm coming! Hey, hi. How are you? I'm good. Please come on in. Yeah, thank you. Wow. <laughs> what a nice place you have. Thank you very much. Do you like it? You look, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, look at these. They are fine. All right. <laughs> the artifacts. Okay. I sleep by the one of my travels. Okay. I, I think I saw something like that at the Hilton. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Oh, okay. Please sit nice. down. Thank you, thank you. I hope it wasn't so hard then, the in this place. <laughs> well, the traffic, apart from that, it was smooth. All right, all right then. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, um... Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, so how is everything? Wow. Auntie Reddit told me you come up quite often. <laughs> okay. Let me take it like that. Um, most times I don't always get the chance. Oh. But I do try my very best to come. So. Yeah. She actually says your parents and her are quite close. Yeah, yeah. She's more related to my mother. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, excuse me, hospitality. I'll just get you a drink. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is your brand? Um, anything soft. Okay. I don't take the alcohol. All right then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Be careful. That's okay. I'll just um, leave, um, leave this with you. Okay. While I get you a drink. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, oh, that must be my friend. Hello, sweet. Have a visitor. Yes. Hello. Mike's the name. Mike. I'm Bob. Pleased to meet you. Please sit down. Thank you. Get me a glass. Let's drink it together. Of course. Um, yeah. Make yourself comfortable. No problem. Thank you. Just go ahead. Pour me a drink. Why didn't you get yourself a glass? No, I already had... Uh, fine, really. <laughs> Sit down. Of course. <sighs> um... Bob. Yeah, yeah that, that Bob. That's Mike. Mike, that's Bob. We already knew the introductions, remember? Yes, of course. Uh, um, Bob is an architect. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, Mike is um, a businessman. Okay. Yeah. He actually deals in fiber. Fiber? Oh, they control almost the whole economy. <laughs> exactly, you know. Um, you know, he actually also deals in oil, you know, raw materials actually. Bob is for my place. Oh, really? Yeah. 
<clears throat> Do I get um, you something to eat? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Yes. Um, how about you? Can I get you something to eat? Thank you, but no. expect you to have said something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's the best way to say to me. You're sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry, I really don't know. I'm sorry. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. Okay, you're sorry. What for? For turning our house into a brothel? I did not turn the house into a brothel. It was, it was, it was not like I was expecting you early th that morning. I've been meaning to tell you that. You've been trying to tell me what? Tell me now. I wanted to tell you that Go on. I'm listening. Bob and I are thinking of getting married. Look, Mike, I'm really sorry to be dropping this on you after all that you have done for me, but... I, I, it's not like you're going to marry Just me. Just shut up! Shut up now! Look, we can talk, talk about this like... Myself. Shut your mouth! Look, get out of my office now. Look, Mikey, that's get out of my office. Okay. Get out. Okay, okay. That's all right, really. There is no point being diplomatic about the situation. Really? I think you have to expect the worst this time. Then let the worst happen. Look, Zeno, this man is married. He has a wife and a son. Bob is single. I'm single. Look, if it's about this house, then he can as well have it. He should have it. No, it hasn't gotten to that. No, it has. Zeno, it has. Look, he will never marry me. So the earlier he knows about Bob, I think it's the better. I think you have a point there. But I hope you know who Mike is. Hmm? I, I'm not scared of him. I'm not.
stop talking about history and start talking about the present. Men are selfish. You know, I'm really beginning to get very pissed off like them. I mean, why would a married man want to, you know, cage me in, in a world of spinsterhood simply because he, he waits some narrow notes before me? Cynthia, don't be hard on yourself, okay? That was me, Bob. Hold on. Hi girls, what's going on here? Hi. Hello. There's someone mourning here. Mourning? You're fine though. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, I am very sorry, okay? Come on, cheer up. Cheer up. Zeno, did Cynthia tell you about the little incident that happened in my office? Yes, she did. Cynthia, I have given it a whole lot of thought. And I said to myself that it would be very wicked of me, very, very wicked of me, if I stopped you from achieving your destiny. You see, I have a family already, a wife and a son. So I know how men think and behave. You mustn't let any man deceive you, Sylvia. Some men will come in all guises just to get you into their beds. In the end, they will run away. So, if you want my approval of your relationship with Bob, then you must convince me that he seriously wants to marry you. He does. I mean, he's actually from my maternal side. And Tingos introduced him to me. She knows him well. She does. Well, that sounds serious. And in that case, you have my blessing. You know I can never deny you anything. Just like I told you long before now, as long as I live, there is nothing in this world that you want that you cannot get. <laughs> it's okay, it's alright, it's alright. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you. It's so okay. Much. Oh, okay. Can I can I see some smiles now? <laughs> <laughs> can I? Thank you. And um Oh, of course, of course. Ah, right back. Yeah, fine. Now you can actually smile. Yes, I'm happy. My friend is happy. Oh, Cynthia, what is happening? Cynthia, what is going on? Look, if you don't talk to me, I will get up and leave this place this minute. <laughs> Cynthia, talk to me. You've been crying all day. Zeno. Cynthia, you can confide in me. What is the problem? Cynthia. Bob. Yes? What happened to Bob? Bob has abandoned me. I want to marry someone else. What? Please, don't tell me that. You can't be serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. You know I'm serious. How? How come? How did you get to know? From whom? Who did you get the message from? I went to see Auntie Mozi. Yes. <laughs> she told me that 
She told you what, Cynthia? What did she tell you? <laughs> she told me that Paul came to do his wedding carry last week. <laughs> what? <sighs> what did I do to Paul to deserve this? <laughs> Why is my own always different? This can't be true. How? how? Have you heard from him? Have you tried to like contact him and hear his own side of the story? Each time I call him, he doesn't pick up the phone. And then when I go to a payphone to call him, the minute he hears my voice, he switches off the phone. Cynthia, are you sure you didn't have any kind of um, misunderstanding with him to warrant no. his behavior right now? No, no. Then what could be what could be the problem? How, how can he just abandon you like this? I don't know. Why is Bob doing this to me? This is not ordinary. I mean, Bob. Why is my case always different? Bob. I don't know. Same Bob, I know. I need answers. I don't know. Why can't I do anything right? It's all right, it's all right. I warned you about me. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to die. I want to die out of all this shit. Shh, shh, come on. Don't be a fool, Cynthia. Come, come, come and sit down. It's all right. It's all right. Just come. It's all right. Sit down. Sit down. Listen, Cynthia. If you die, the guy will bask in the euphoria of being a superman who could break the heart of any woman anytime to the extent that the woman will commit suicide. Do you want to give him that pleasure? Good. So, give Mike a smile. Come on. So, let's go shopping. Let me clean you up and give you a new life. So that when the next guy sees you, he will know that he's a nobody. Come on. Hey, hey. It's all right. Come on. <laughs> it's all right. Come on. It's all right. Okay. Come on. Let's go. It's all right. It's okay. Hey.
I'll just go to the police to make a report that you're missing so they can search for you. Honey, I'm sorry. Armed robbers attacked me and took the car. What? My God, are you are you okay? I'm all right. Did they hurt I'm you? Right. I'm all right. I'm all right. But that's not even the story. I am lucky to be alive. Those bastards threw me into the boot of the car and locked me in. My God, where did it happen? So I could call that and so they can get apprehended or something. Oh, come something. on, can't say, come on. What is all this thing about telling your father, your parents, anytime any little thing happens at the house? Sweetie, you call this little? For crying out loud, you called me yesterday from the office that you'll be home for 6 p.m. And I'm just seeing you today and you call this little? Yes, okay, I understand. I understand. But why on earth would you want to tell your father, your parents, that I'm robbers locked in the boot of my car? Don't you know what that means? Your powerful father, the retired general, would say that I cannot adequately take care of his daughter. The thieves only used the car for an operation. A good Samaritan released me and I drove the car back. The only indignity I suffered was being locked in the boot of the car, that's all. Come on, don't look so sad. I'm all right. I'm all right, okay? It's okay. But it's nothing to bother your poor dad about. Hmm? Where is Junior? He's gone to school. Oh, I forgot. Um, please, can't leave on my path. I have to watch my thoughts. I love you. I love you very much. I know. I'm sorry I blew my talk the other day. It was just that your question was so, so unexpected, so sudden. It was as if you were doubting my loyalty. No, no. I've just been hearing a lot of things and... Things, things. Those things are just my rumors. I love you. You know, I can't stand shaming you to another woman. I just can't. The thought of it drives me crazy. You're not sharing me with any other woman. You have never shared me with any other woman. Just like I said, those things are my rumors. I love you. You're my one and only. I promise you will always be for you, always be there for me. I'm always there for you. Most of the time I come back late. It's because I just want my family to be better financially. Oh, I get it. You want us to be tied to your daddy's apron street. That's why any little thing that happens around no, to no, daddy's apron street. No, no, that's not true. No, no, That's because we're never there. You come are on, never wait. there. Okay. Let's not argue. Mm -hmm. I promise, from now on, to be a better husband to my lovely wife. Thank you. Promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Right. I thought you wouldn't even apologize. Oh. <laughs> uh, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love you. Okay, ma'am, tell me. What do you want me to give you as a present? You know, a makeup present? A present? Mm -hmm. I think I would prefer a surprise. A surprise? Okay, a surprise then. Oh, when am I getting this surprise gift? I think I have a surprise for you in my bedroom. Already? Oh yeah, you need to come and see my air chains, you know. Mm -hmm. I can wait. Come on now, Mrs. Jeffrey, all right, man, you can't be serious. I am. No, 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 you can't be serious. You can't get more serious than this. Like I've said it before, I need to get myself a wife before I get out of this country. And I think you need to start taking me seriously. And you know that. Okay? What seems to be the problem, sir? I know, you see, all of you guys have met seem to have a peculiar problem. Is it that there are no 
good women in America or what? I mean, you always want to come back here and get a wife. I don't understand. America, are they lacking women? That's a tall question, bro. And you know, I ain't got answers for it. What I think you need to do is get dressed up and take me out because I need myself a girl for tonight. And seriously, you need to start working on that my wife issue. Then you know I mean it. What do you really need, Siri? A babe for the night or a wife? Man, what is wrong with you people? I mean, you come back here running after our girls like dogs in the heat. Come on, man, serious. Listen to yourself. What's with you and all those cheap questions, bro? Just give me Zeno's number or whatever you call her. That girl will definitely hook a brother up. Ah! Listen, I told you. Zeno is old school. Bad news, man. Bad news. Man, that's like the saddest thing I've heard. Too bad. Too bad, man. Because you know what? That girl is like, ugh! The best thing you've ever had. Trust me, I'm telling you, I'm your bro. I got to tell you, that girl is off the hook and she's like, Spare me that. Just give me the number, bro. Just give it to me. Listen, the last time I ever, ever dreamt of trying that number, you were switched off. She's changed her line. Why don't you let me decide? Give me the number. What are you afraid of anyways? You think I'm going to snitch behind you? All right, all right. I'll give you the number. Yeah, give it to me. Two zero five five seven um, three five. Seven three five. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's check this out. You see, the phone rings. It's working. It is working. Hey. Hey, baby. What's up? Do you know who's talking to you? Yeah, this is Cyril. Cyril! Hi! Yeah, same old, same old, same old Cyril. Wow! Where, where are you? I'm in town and uh, I'm hanging out with this dude over here and uh, it's not behaving right and I thought you could hook a brother up. You know how you do it now. You always have a way of moving mountains when I'm around. Well, I'm sorry, I can't come over. You and I are no longer together. Nah, forget about this jerk. He's just here standing. You know, he's been up and down about you since I got back, and you know him now. <laughs> You're still this funny. <laughs> Alright then, um, maybe I should send over my friend's address to you. Okay, you're gonna send it via text message. I would love that. So, I'll be with you in a jiffy, love. Alright, take care. <laughs> Bye. Okay, thank you. You see, the girl is good to go. She's gonna send her added by text message. Whatever. Oh, get out of here. Just drink up, let's get out of here. I told you, man. I'm an excellent judge of character, and you need to start listening to me. You need to start listening to me.
don't, you don't seem to understand this. You can't meet a girl in just a night and you've gone ahead to propose uh, without even knowing this girl. You, I mean, you need to know this girl. But there ain't anything to know, bro. You know, we all grew up having the picture of the kind of woman we want in our heads. And when you see that woman, you go for it. Like I have. You know, I think they call it uh, love. That's what they call it. I think so. Yeah. Cereal, I know it. Cereal. Oh, Cereal. This is not the way we grew up. This is not the plan. Alright. You think this girl fits into your perfect picture? You, you think she is the kind of woman you want? I mean, man, think, guy, think. <laughs> Relax, man. You know, this girl is so right for me. I can feel it. She's so wonderful, and what she does to me when I'm with her. Man, not even anybody, not even the devil can stop me. Not even you can stop me from having this woman. I'll tell you that, man. I don't know how to make you understand, but I'm floating right now. Say and I'm going to go down. Say really. Oh, you don't know her. Cynthia is trouble. Capital letter, trouble. Trouble is good. Wherever she goes, she goes with storm of trouble. Big trouble. Then there's only one thing to do. Or weather the storm. And you know what? I think you should celebrate with me. Because the eagle has finally landed, my friend. That's what's happened. Listen, listen. Mm, I'm listening, listen, I'm serious. listening, I'm listening. All right. Okay. You still have two weeks before you leave, all right? Two weeks. Yeah, okay. Now, let's put it this way. Let's say we take one week to experiment with this girl, try her out with some, you know, tricks, and see how she comes around it. What do you think? I mean, think about it. You want me to think about it? Yes. Okay, I will. Um, let me see. Mm. Yeah! I think I finally found myself a wife. What? And what I should be doing, not talking to you, I should be concluding wedding arrangements. Uh, you know what? I'm out of here. Serious. Hmm? Serious. I gotta go. Serious. Serious. Hey, you be my best man, okay? Take notes and get ready. Cyril is my friend and is very serious about getting married to Cynthia. I told you, you know, I am not interested. I'm totally not interested. I mean, look at the way all these guys come into my life and they fizzle out in the middle of it. I am really tired. I don't need any more disappointments. Come on, Cynthia. Don't blank out because a few miscrants came your way. A few miscrants. <laughs> now tell me, Zino. Did you know I approve of all of them? No. Did you not approve of Paul? No. Leo? No. James? No. What about Bob? Ha! I think who's introduced Bob to you now? Have you um, forgotten? Hello. Who was Paul? It wasn't it wasn't anything too serious. It was not for a long time. Really. What <clears> I'm <throat> trying to say is that Cyril is a gentleman. He doesn't even stay in Nigeria. So he will not just come down and search for a woman and then go on to mess her up. Now, that's why I have a problem with him. Most of those boys, when they come back here, only think of getting married during Christmas periods. But Mike, it... Yes, and after that, they travel back to their bases and wedding has ended for that year until the next Christmas. Exactly what I was saying. I don't want anybody to use me as a periodic toy or... The truth that most people do not know about these boys is that they already have families out there. So even if they want to keep you here, it's just to catch their fun. Even if they eventually get married to you, that's where it ends. They would never take you back there for obvious reasons. They're families. No, Mike, not with Cyril. He got to the state with an immigrant visa. So he didn't need to get married to an American to have his green card. He's a very different person. <laughs> okay, okay. So it doesn't look like I'm a very negative person. Just this one time, just this last time, I'll give him, I'll give him a try. 
port. Um, not so fast, Cynthia. Zeno. Yes, Mike. I want you to arrange a meeting between me and um, what's his name? Cyril. Cyril. I want you to arrange a meeting between me and Cyril. Tell him that Cynthia's uncle would like to have a chat with him. I want to assess him. Okay. Fine, no problem. I'll do just that. I don't, I don't have that. Just since I just have, please just wait. I hope you know you'll be the one to do my ashebi. Exactly. The wedding will be taking place on the 23rd of September. Oh, yes, I know Cynthia's wedding is on that same day. We actually fixed it to be on the same day. And we'll be having the reception at the same venue too. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, the husband got into the country two days ago. Yeah. What? You would like to come and see us? That would be great! I will tell Cynthia, okay? Alright then, maybe when you come, we'll show you the colors. Okay, thanks, eh? Bye. Um, yes, I, I don't know. I think that back is a little bit. It is an adjustment. It's a bit more like. Mm -hmm. okay. they, shouldn't, they shouldn't touch the puffiness more, I want to. Oh my god, Cyril, come on! You're not supposed to see me in my gown before the wedding day. Excuse me. Alright, since you're already here, how do you like the dress? How do you like the splendor? <laughs> splendor? That end? No, splendor! That's my hard end cash going down the drain. Cyril, what was that? Because there ain't gonna be any wedding, now or forever. Liar! That's what? A liar! Liar? Me? You never told me you had a baby. You were a prostitute. You've committed several abortions. You killed your last suitor and absconded with his money. Who, me? Oh, I don't stand there acting holier than thou. Cyril, what suitor? I mean, what suitor are you talking Bob. about? Bob! That was his name. Bob, you hear me? Bob! Deny it! Bob? Look, honey, I really don't know where all this is coming from. I don't know who's telling you this, but... Oh! I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. I loved you, baby. But thank goodness this good fella came and exposed you for whom you really are. What good fellow? Who, who's the good fellow? I... You dare touch me! You Jezebel! You know what? It's finished! I'm through with you! Finito! Cyril. 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 Tell me Cyril! Bastard! Bastard! Coward! Don't you just call me? Coward! That's what you are, Cyril! You're a coward! How can somebody tell you things about me? And you believe it! You can't even look me in the eye and trust it out. You want to walk away from my life and leave me in the dark? How dare you! I don't need to leave you in the dark, baby. You're in the dark already. You're a dark woman. That's what you are. What is happening? What is going on? Oh, come on, stop acting up. It's just your dirty past that's sorting you out and you know it. Somebody's doing this to me. Who is this fellow? So you don't think I'm making this up? I'll prove it to you. Cynthia is a girl that no man should associate with. First, she lies. Did she tell you that she was my girlfriend? Your girlfriend? But you said she was your cousin. Well, she made me say it. Did she ever tell you that she had a baby yeah. that's living with her that auntie? Sounds familiar, right? God. Did she tell you that she was once well, a prostitute my God. who lived in a brothel? Oh my God. It's all true. I don't know all this. God. Damn you, woman. Damn you!
um, this is business kind of business. You either take it or leave it, four million naira. Okay. Don't even come near me, you Lucifer. So it was you all this while? It was you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Mike, I heard it all. I heard it all, Mike. I told you about my whole life. And then you go telling all those people, Mike, what? don't even try to deny it. I heard it from Cyril. He... Mike, he played it for me on his phone. What did I do to you, Mike? What did I ever do to you to deserve this? Why? Why do you do this to me? You've done nothing wrong, Cynthia. I did it because of love. Love, Cynthia, love is what I have for you. Love? Love will make you want to jeopardize my future, Mike. What kind of love will want to make you throw away my whole essence, Mike? Why? Where did all this love come from? From deep within my soul, Cynthia. That love comes from deep within my soul. I hate you so much. You evil rat! I'd rather you hate me than me what you live with another man. If I hurt you so much, Cynthia, if you feel so much hatred for me, drive a spear into my heart and I'll gladly die in peace. I discovered you were sleeping away from me. So I had to use your past to arrest the situation. And betray everything I trusted in you for, Mike. All those people. Did you remember to tell them all I went through after my family accident? No, you didn't. Mike, did you remember to tell them all I suffered in my life? Did you remember to tell them that I was raped? And that that's how I had Angel because I was looking for food to eat? Did you? Did you? Cynthia, just accept the truth. What truth, you bastard? What truth? That I am the only man in this world who has the capacity to accommodate your past. You will burn in hell. Even the heat of hell cannot be compared with the heat of my love for you. I love you, Cynthia. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Could she be blamed for what she did? Should she be blamed for who she is? She was only trying to be the best that she can be. But events and people around wouldn't let her be. Now her back's against the wall, and she doesn't want to fall. She must do what she can to stand tall. She's a victim of circumstance. Life can be unpredictable mm -hmm. And what's meant to be is unstoppable You may have your dreams and aspiration But the life can throw you into confusion Cause things ain't working out as you expected and all along you thought you were protected But life deals you one blow after another And you feel that you were going, going under You're faced with hard choices Oh, and you find yourself Doing what you didn't plan to do Could she be blamed oh. 
What did you see? Sit down and tell me. This is not a matter of sitting down. I saw one monstrous looking jeep. Ah, jeep. Only money rituals can afford it. I will see jeeps every day. What's so special about jeeps? Do you know who I saw driving it? Who? Mm. Cynthia, your niece. <laughs> hey, God. Cynthia. I told you that Cynthia is not only a prostitute, armed robber. She has joined money rituals. <laughs> yes. Ah, but you are the one that came here to tell me that uh, Cynthia drove one woman from my husband's house and took over. I mean, the man can easily buy her a jeep. Ah, that is old story. The man drove her away a long time ago. She's been gallivanting about the whole place. Listen to me. When the police come looking for her, they will call on you. They will call on you. Look, 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 Edna. Look, I am sick and tired of stories about Cynthia. Every time you come here to tell me stories about Cynthia, I don't want to hear it again. As far as I am concerned, Cynthia is out of my life. And that is good readers to bad nonsense. Please don't come here telling me stories about Cynthia. I don't want to hear it again. Listen to me. You must hear it when the police come looking for Cynthia because you are her relation. Police won't come for me. Hmm. Cynthia is an adult. If she commits a crime and she's caught, she faces the music hmm. and not me. I am living my own life the way I want to live. So if I, I don't want to hear stories about Cynthia, I am tired. I am you tired. must hear it. You are her relation. You must hear it. Okay. Are you hearing me? When the police come looking for her, they will call you. Madam, no sir. So you get one woman, so welcome. She about twenty minutes ago. She says she your car comes in. Come, 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 come. It comes from the same family. Uh, but she work out come out. Her bag still there inside my office. I know the machine she enter. You don't send a Lagos with this, so uh, because we and Oga know that around uh, no the machine she enter house. Oga's cousin. Yes, ma'am. From where? She says she comes from Bauchi. She fine, tall. She still she resembles students, so mm. a young girl. Bauchi. Hmm. Where is she now? Uh, she come on and say maybe she should maybe she go buy something, but her back, everything is still there inside my office. Here. Okay, when she comes, let me know. Okay. That's okay by me. And your cousin is waiting in the house for you. Cousin? Yeah. But I had told you not to allow these cousins of mine into the house unless I am in. Sweetie, what were you expecting me to do? She came all the way from Bauchi. Were you expecting me to leave her outside? Bauchi? Yeah. My cousin from Bauchi. 
I yes. don't have any cousin from Baoji. Okay, so who comes first to your class? It's Halima. Oh, now I know why you don't like Halima. Yes. You know what we need to do? Yeah. When you get to school, you're going to study with Halima. Okay? No, that's how I'm going to take first. You take someone. Eh, that's the same thing we're talking about now. The process has already started. Okay? So Halima comes second, while well, you come first. Yes. That's my boy. That's, give it to me. You're so lucky your cousin came up early today. Really? You know, how are you? Uncle, good afternoon. <laughs> Honey, don't you know her? Oh, sure, <laughs> I, I do. It's been a long time. <laughs> very, very long now. I've really grown, right? <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And what's that your name? Cynthia. C Cynthia. Uh -huh. It's been 13 years or thereabouts. 10 years precisely. <laughs> 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> and that's a long time. Yeah. Uh, honey, has she eaten anything yet? I'm so sorry. You know, I just got back. But Cynthia just gave me 10, 15 minutes at lunch. No, you cook for me. I'll cook for you. Oh, but still, we're cooking together. Oh, okay, that's why right. then. <laughs> so, Cynthia. What are you doing here? Oh, actually, um, my NYC was moved to Lagos and I didn't have enough time to alert you. I'm really sorry. And I might be staying for a while. Yeah. But don't worry, I'll be of help. Oh, I'll really be of help. You really know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay, let's go get you something to eat. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go. Do you ask me if I'm crazy? First it was Bob. Then Chicken. Then Cyril. I actually thought I was crazy. I thought I was possessed. Jinxed. But no. It was you. It was you all this while. You were the unseen hand. Why? Look, Cynthia. I did all that because I love you. Shh. It's too late. I don't need your excuses anymore, Mike. But why? Why would you do this to me? I trusted you. I confided in you. How could you use it against me? And then you lied on me, scandalized me. Why? Meg, why? Well, since you will have nobody else in the whole world have me, You can have me. You can have me. Is that why you're going to ruin my marriage? Now listen here, Sylvia. I am giving you two hours. Two hours to go in there, get your things and get out of my house. Else. Else what? This game. 
I'm only playing it with you. The game has started. Now let's see who wins. decided that the world will not have me. <laughs> I hope you are ready to marry me. What? Are you not? You know my wife and kid. How do you expect me to do that? Do you think I care? No, do you think I care? I swear. Mike, I am giving you 48 hours. 48 hours to marry me. If you don't, I am going to bring hell down into this house. I will tell the general's daughter exactly who I am. <laughs> She wouldn't believe you. Oh, really? Do you want to try? Cynthia, this is crazy. Very crazy. You just can't ask me to marry you. I already asked. Mike, I am waiting for your answer. Cynthia, Cynthia, please, let's, let's not fight, okay? Let's, let, let's go to a reasonable compromise, okay? Whatever other thing you want, I, I, I'll do for you. Just, look. It's too late, man. It is too late. Okay, just just give me some few hours. My wife will soon be back. My son's school is just next to it. So please, I, I beg you. You think I care? No, Mike. You really think I care? Let me help you with those. 
Are you serious? Come on, I can do it. That's kind of you. And the thing that the washing machine just broke down two weeks ago, oh. um, Mike didn't even bother about it. All he's bothered about is, I hope, just walk into his wardrobe and see his clothes neatly arranged. <laughs> Shame on you, Mike. <laughs> I was actually waiting for you to come give me some soap. Let's go, let me give it to you. <laughs> You're taking it too far. I want you to leave my house, okay? Just just go. Go where? Look, I go to a place, furnished it just to make you happy. Now I am giving you the permission to go and get Angel to leave with you. <laughs> Angel, that's too late. Cynthia, I have done well for you. I meant well for you. I gave you a car and placed a roof over your head. Mike. You actually think that a woman's happiness lies with a car and a roof over her head? No. The ultimate happiness is marriage. Why don't you want to marry me, Mike? You mean you've been lying to me all along? Lying about what? Oh, you said you love me. That you can never live without me. Marry me, why won't you? Look, why? I, I meant every word I said. But we don't have to be stupid or else we'll lose everything. Lose what? What are you losing, Mike? What? Cynthia, let me tell you the truth. This business belongs to my father-in-law. I have been slaving for him. Now I want to liberate myself. Until I met you, I used to think that money was everything. I now know that love is everything. Might tell me something different. For some time now, I've been trying to get some money of this business so that I can be a man of my own. Cynthia, I need you. I need you. You need me. For what? Huh? I am ready, very ready, to get a large chunk of this business. Then I will leave my wife and we can get married. Mike, so you think that after all that I have been through in this life, anyone can fool me? Mike, you actually think that you can fool me now? Cynthia, there is no reason for you not to believe me. I am not fooling you, okay? Just listen to me. Listen. You will go to Abuja where I am building a new house. No one knows about this house. I'll be sending you money so you can complete this house. Once it's completed, we'll move in and start our life anew. By then, I would have been separated from my wife. <laughs> Mike, you actually think that I believe you, right? Cynthia, Tomorrow, we'll go to the bank together and I will open an account for the project in your name with five million naira. Cynthia, I love you so much. You mean the world to me, you mean everything to me. Please, just help me build a new world.
You must be Cynthia. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've been expecting you. Oh, I hope I didn't stay too long. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hope you had a good flight. Yeah, it was very small. Oh, beautiful. beautiful house you have here. Oh, thank you very much. All oh, right. You. Please, let's go. I don't know if you can help me get somebody to um, get my things from the car. Okay. Um, Ajay, go get the things from the boot. She's not a total stranger. She's uh, Mike's friend. You know Mike? That's my friend in, uh, in Lagos. So what? Obi Nakilon Jebe? Eh? Even if she's your mother, I don't deserve a right to know. Well, Kemi, now you know. Now, Kemi, you know. So can we have some quiet? Anyway, she's here on a course. And when she's through, she'll be. She's not impinging on anyone's rights. Are you okay? Obina. Obina, you have so changed. My love, what happened? I don't want to be with you. I I'm sure it's because I don't have babies. That's why you're treating me like this. Honey, listen. I don't make babies. And at the appointed time, we're going to have one. Please, now, oh my love. Are you true? Obin. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what? Obin, if you don't change this attitude of yours, I'll, 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 I'll. You will report me to your father, right? You report me to your father like you've always done. Be my guest. Kemi, be my guest. If I cough in my house, you go and report me to your father. I snore in my bedroom, your father must hear. Go and report me this time, and then we'll know who married you, either your father or my son. Oh, baby, I never said I was going to report you to my dad. That was what you wanted to say. I put it to you that that was what you were about to say. Nonsense. Oh, no, no, me. Leave me alone. My love. I never said it. Honey. Could she be blamed for what she did? Should she be blamed for who she is? She was only trying to be the best that she can be. But events and people around wouldn't let her be. Now her back's against the wall and she doesn't want to fall. She must do what she can to stand tall She's a victim of circumstance oh, Life can be unpredictable mm -hmm. And what's meant to be is unstoppable You may have your dreams and aspiration what about your family? My parents died in a motor accident and my aunties and uncle chased me out of the house. How old are you? Petit ma. And you are sure you can take good care of yourself? Yes, ma'am. Very good. I will give you a job as a server. You will be serving and you know how to. Yes, very good. Uh, you will do it very right. Very, very, very well. Very, very oh, you're out of this place. Uh -huh. you go. Uh -huh. uh, follow the man that just left and we'll show you what to do. Uh,
little rat. What are you doing standing there weeping, crying? Go and go and serve the customers. I'm tired. I haven't eaten. You haven't eaten. <laughs> you haven't eaten. Take money from your pocket and go and buy food. I haven't been paid. Paid? Paid for what? Eh? You see, big, big men come in the morning, afternoon, evening, night. You still cannot find your way and make money and eat. Hey, stop now. Who go and me? about my whole life and then you go telling all those people Mike what? don't even try to deny it I heard it from Cyril he Mike he played it for me on his phone what did I do to you Mike what did I ever do to you to deserve this why why do you do this to me this is not how it was a man to be I can't believe all this is happening to me if it's so dream I want to wake up all of it all this must stop Oh, um, no, 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 it wasn't. We were just uh, talking, you know, loudly. <laughs> <laughs> um, please don't forget to come take me to Mike's, please. Um, yeah, yes, that will be tomorrow. Okay, then. Yes, no, no. But no problem. <sighs> it's such a shame, you know. I'll be in this house all by myself today. Your wife went out today and she said she won't be coming back until very late in the night. And of course, you're going to the office and I'm sure you'll be back till late in the night as well. I'll be so bored. No, but don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Ed. I'll, I'll come take you at, at lunch. Is that okay? Of course, that's fine. Yes, I'll, I'll really love to. Really? Yes. Thank you. a win-win situation with me all the time. He thinks I'm a, an eternal fool. 
What does he take me for? Now, he brings this lady and says she's his sister. When I know, I know she's not his sister. She's even given me a green light. <laughs> Funny. Funny. I think I'm... Uh, no, no, she's not bad. She's not bad. And I... I think I'm a bit wiser now than Mike. Well, she gave me the green light and it's, it's not personal. If she wouldn't tell, like she says, I, who am I to tell? <laughs> oh, I'm wiser. Oh, well, let's see. I believe I'm going to have a nice time. It's my turn now to have a nice time.
Yes, she had. The project is going on time. Okay. All right. So how much do you see you're sending this time? Five million naira. Okay, that's fine. It will go a long way for now. Ah, uh -huh, honey, before I forget, yesterday government officials came on site and they almost disrupted the whole work. In fact, they stopped the workers from working. Why? What happened? If not because I recognized one of um, the officials, which happened to be my old schoolmates, it would have been disastrous. Well, they said they need the original seal of home. You cannot be building it now. You have um, the photocopies. They come around to check these days. Look, I have all the documents. I'll fly on first thing tomorrow morning with them. No, sweetheart, you don't have to come. Just send it by courier. Look, I am not complaining. I'll bring them myself. At least. That will afford me an opportunity to see. Look, Mike. Send it by courier and first thing tomorrow morning we'll get it. I have to get it to that office first thing tomorrow so that they don't come back on site and disrupt uh, um, work. Yeah, just send it by courier and the next one hour, 30 minutes to one hour, we'll get it. And also remember, you can't stop work, you can't leave work. We still need a lot of money for this project too. Okay, you have a plan to have a plan too. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning I'll bring send them, okay? I love you. I love you too. Take care of yourself. It's not exactly that. What is it like? This cheap swine, slut, that I gave shelter and all she did was take my husband. Oh, you you, 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 you slap me, daddy. I don't want to be again. What is your problem with you? Can I try to pacify you? Who knows what is my body? Obina, don't even go there. Don't even, don't dare raise your voice on me. So you have the F1 tree to even challenge me. Don't worry. Obina, don't Worry, I know how to sort this whole thing out. Come, come, come now. Let, come, let's discuss this matter.
everybody. Welcome. Good day, sir. You're welcome. I didn't know you were coming. Come, so why didn't you tell me your dad was so Michael, since you married my daughter, I've tried my best to make you a man, but you have decided to remain a boy. I placed you on the table with the high and the mighty, but you have chosen to remain a swine, eating from the gutters. I, I, I don't understand this, sir. I don't. What's the matter? What have I done wrong? A foolish man follows kids blindly, just like a foolish fly follows the cops into the grave. Now you're insulting me, sir. You can't just walk into my house and insult me. What have I done? <laughs> Your house? Anyway, I've invited auditors to take the stock of the company's accounts. You will be made to account for every cover in that office. Sir, I have been managing your businesses very well. I have, sir. Indeed. By using my company and my name for your drug deals, yes, the containers that were seized were released by my name and my signature. Is it how you run the company very well? Sir, I... Sir, I am sorry. I am sorry. Sir, don't do this to me. If not for me. For the sake of my family. Sir, since I married your daughter, we've not had any problems. She's around. I ask her. Oh, Mike, shut up. You're just a liar. I had all your conversation with that girl who brought into this house as your cousin or your sister, whatever you call her. Mike, how could you? How could you bring in your mistress into our matrimonial home? How heartless can you get, Mike? You betrayed our love. You betrayed everything we worked hard for. Why? And to think that you sent her to Abuja and you kept sending money for her to build a house that both of you will live in. Oh my God. Mike, you are heartless. You are a mistake for a husband. Come see, come see. It's not what you think. Oh you my God, help! Hey! You're a coward for not accepting what you did. I told you, my dear, I told you that what is only interested is my money and my connection. Mike, I'll make you suffer. You're a fool. You're a swine. A good for me. Enough, sir. Enough. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. Who cares? I'm only respecting you, sir. Oh, I Mike, you're care. just a senseless human being. You're not only senseless, but you're very stupid. He's only a foolish man that abandons his home and all that he has slept for, for another woman. Oh, Mike, I promise you, God will judge you. God will surely punish you. Mike, now, I want you out of this house. Get out of this house now. Get out! I will go. I will leave your bondage. Always hearing things. The news is all over town that Cynthia has taken over another woman's husband. Not only did she take over the man, she drove the woman out of her matrimonial home. And this woman is going about crying, telling anyone who cares to listen how was. <laughs> so, where did you hear this now? You see, this is one character that you have that I hate. Always asking irrelevant questions. See, there are birds in the sky and the ants that are crawling on the ground. Have you heard about this news? The news is all over town. Anyway, I also heard that the father of that woman is a retired army general. And this man is spitting fire and brimstone. That if he lays his eyes or hands on Cynthia, not only will he castrate her, he will circumcise her family members as well. Look at me. See my hand. 
see my leg. I don't want anybody calling Edna and her children. Evelyn, Ebuka and Chukwu Mega, when the trouble comes, so nobody should call me. Oh, hey, I've told you this is your niece. I think she came from the pit of hell. Anyway, are my children back from school? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the most. Oh, okay. I've said my own. I'm going inside. Honey, I will be in Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, honey, when I get there, I will give you the good news. It's a very good news. Uh, I hope you're still in Abuja. Where else am I going to be if not Abuja? Um, you said the house has been painted and furnished? Definitely. Painting and furnishing has already gone on. The house is already furnished. Okay, honey, let, let me tell you now. I am finally free from Kamsi and the father. Oh, great. That's really great. Um, but what happened? Uh, don't worry. When I get down to Abuja tomorrow morning, I will give you the whole lowdown. Okay. No problems. I'm only for you. Uh, take care of yourself. You too. I love you. I love you. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Auntie. <laughs> yes. Um, Angel and I are traveling. Where are you traveling to? I cannot tell you exactly where now, but as soon as we get there, I'll call you to give you the address. It's okay. Um, Auntie, um, I actually brought this. Um, it's a check. I want you to have this to take care and, you know, relocate all these children and yourself to a bigger and better home. I want to really truly appreciate you for all that you've done for Angel. And I wish I had the opportunity Angel had, you know, for somebody to be able to take care of me. I want to thank you and appreciate you. This is all I have worked for all my life. To be able one day to bless the less privileged like myself and Angel here. I want you to please have this to take care of these younger ones and yourself. And may God in his infinite mercy bless you and appreciate you for what you have done for us. Also appreciating me. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. All right, we have to go. Thank you so much. Angel, I'll miss you. Bye. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. Take we care of mommy too. I'll call bye you. Bye bye then. my husband from me. Thank you very much. Kemi, Kemi, just take it easy. <laughs> what did you just say? Didn't you send one, one hard lot here to come and take my husband? Beat me up. Kemi, <laughs> which hard lot? I mean Cynthia. Cynthia, your so-called Cynthia. Cynthia has been sleeping with my husband morning, afternoon. Now I even caught them red-handed today. And you're telling me... Hey, hey, Kemi, hey. you, you mean Obinais? Cynthia, Cynthia and Opinal. Look at this one. 
So that's the one view, eh? So that's the only thing disturbing you. But me, I don't have anything to say. I want to leave the house for you people to enjoy, so you two can join them and enjoy the group. that it's been painted and furnished. Look, I know what you said, okay? Okay, just come down here immediately and please don't waste my time. Cynthia sell. Well, serves you right. You trusted her with so much. Now she sold the land and your property and she's gone with it. She's gone with it. What? She sold the uncompleted building. <laughs> oh, oh, now you don't know what you're saying. Do you know that I sent over 12 million naira to Cynthia? She made me believe that the house has been painted and furnished. Well, you should have done her better than that. I called you, Bina. I called you and you confirmed it. For crying out loud, you confirmed that the house has been painted and furnished. Did I? Well, maybe I didn't understand you then. Are you dense? 
Are you tense? Do you know how much I bought that land? Oh, but I saw you. You of all people could do this to me. Excuse me, sir. I didn't do anything to you. If there's anyone to blame, it's you. Tell me. Didn't you sleep with her? Didn't you? Sleep with who? I fear you don't know what you're talking about. Stop laughing. Just stop laughing. I am laughing. Obina, I am... I entrusted my woman to you. You were busy sleeping with her. And then you connived with her to steal all my money I've made all my life? Oh. Your woman now. Uh, I thought she was your sister. So that gave you the right to slam her day in, day out? Point of correction! I never slammed her! Excuse me! Into 